LOD1. Happy Thursday. Let's go ahead. Let's talk about what your jobs are for today. So first things first, let's go ahead. We're on our homepage for our website. And I'm going to go ahead. I am going to choose Thursday. It is October 8th. And you can see we have our schedule right here. So first things first, we are going to start with our morning work. Go ahead, click the sun. It will take you straight to your job. And this week we are talking about proper nouns. As always, Miss Lopez was so kind enough to put the uh, video of a reminder what proper nouns are on this first slide. So if you're kind of like, oh, I forgot what a proper noun is, you have the refresher right here. But just to clarify, a proper noun is a noun that refers to something specifically by name. So it's going to be capitalized and it's going to talk about either a specific place, a specific thing, or a specific person. So you are going to be talking about specific people, not um, just something general. You're going to be talking about something specifically. Um, so your job is to go ahead, you are going to choose two proper nouns. You're going to type them right here and then you are going to insert pictures right here. Remember, um, how to insert, you go to insert, you go to image, and search the web. And right here on the side will be Google and it will pop up and you can just type in the um, proper noun you are looking for. So for example, if I wanted to do Disneyland, I would type in Disneyland because it's talking about a specific place. And I would choose an image and I would drag it and put it over here. So that is going to be a job for grammar. And then you have your morning journal. So if I go ahead and click right here, it will take me straight to my journal. And today is my thoughts Thursday. So again, you're going to be giving your opinion. You're going to tell me um, your thoughts. So write your thoughts about fruits versus veggies. So you will have to decide which is better, fruits or veggies, and you have to tell me why. So you need a paragraph number five to six sentences. You need to introduce your opinion, give me some reasons why, and then conclude with, you know, I think fruits are, and as you can see, fruits are better than veggies, or as you can see, veggies are better than fruits, and so on. So keep that in mind, but you are going to tell me what you think is better, fruits or veggies. I'm curious to see your thoughts on that. Then you have Zoom with your lovely teachers. We're so excited to see you. Uh, we're going to talk about dialogue and how to use them in our personal narrative. Then you're going to have Spanish. You're going to go ahead and click the hola button to get there. And you're going to see it will take you right here. And you are going to press the blue button. And it starts at 10 a.m. So we're going to end our Zoom a couple minutes early to make sure that you guys get there on time. So instead of 10, we'll end at that 9.55 time. Then you have a break. You deserve it after being on Zoom for all that time. So give yourself that break. Then we will have our prefix and suffix practice. This is a daily job. That means every single day. So you're going to go ahead. You are going to hop on. You are going to watch. You are going to listen to the prefix and suffixes as well as root words um, that are assigned to you. So that way you can become even stronger readers. Then after your prefix and suffix practice, you are going to do a text evidence activity. We will also be talking about text evidence during our Zoom today. So for text evidence, you are going to go ahead, you are going to click this green book right here. And it will take you straight to your text evidence read aloud. And you are going to go ahead, you are going to either read or listen to the story. Then you are going to have a slide two. It is very important that you pay attention go to slide two. And you are going to have jobs on slide two. So if I click on the speaker, it will read the question to me and it will give me directions for what I have to do. So for this activity, you have to answer the question, but then with the color that it's given you, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. I need to go back, oops, I need to go back back to the first slide and highlight the information. Oh my goodness, it keeps sending me back. I need to highlight the information that helps give me 
an idea what arithmetic in red. And so you might be thinking, how do I highlight text? Well, if I go back to the classroom and I see this little video camera right here, it's going to show me a video of how to highlight text. And I recommend you watch this before you complete this assignment because it's going to help you and it's going to help kind of explain the job a little bit more clearly. So again, it's going to give you clear directions about what it wants you to do. So for what is the meaning of arithmetic as it is used in the fourth paragraph of the passage. So any information that helps you decide what arithmetic means, you're going to go over here, you're going to highlight it in red. And as I said in the video, be careful because this text is editable. So that means it can accidentally get deleted. So please, please be careful. You are not going to have to press delete at all. So do not press delete or backspace. You do not need to press backspace at all for this assignment. So do not press the backspace button. Don't press the backspace button. All right. Then after that, you have your personal narrative assignment and we are going to be talking about dialogue. So you're going to go ahead, you are going to press the pencil and what's going to happen is it is going to take you to a feed or to um, a Google form and in this Google form you're going to write your first and last name below and then you're going to write two examples of dialogue you will include in your personal narrative and in order to do that you must include quotation marks which we will talk about tomorrow so make sure that you get two examples of dialogue um, to complete this job then you have lunch. After lunch, we're going to go ahead. We have a study guide for math. And so you're going to go ahead. You're going to click the symbols. As we talked about on Tuesday, you have an assessment on Friday about addition and subtraction. And with the one thing about Mrs. Walsh's, blah, blah, Miss Walsh's study guides is that they are the exact same as the test. The only difference is the numbers. So keep that in mind mind. And then you will have an answer key as well. If I just click the key, it will take me straight to the answer key. Finally, you have I ready reading and then cleanup. And that will be it for your day. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. Bye, D1.